Hello everyone and welcome to my practice. I'm Dr. Victoria Karolinski and I'm a cosmetic surgeon. Today we're going to do a liquid facelift, which is a non-surgical procedure that will allow me to improve a patient's facial appearance without um, any downtime or potential risks or complications. This is Tatiana. She's a patient of mine who presented to me with complaints of an aging face. She feels that over the last couple of years, she's really lost a lot of the volume in her cheeks. She's very bothered by her marionette lines. She also complains about uh, the deepening wrinkles on her forehead, between her brows, and around her eyes. And she has opted to do what's called a liquid facelift, which means that in combination of different fillers and botulinum toxin, either Botox or Dysport, we will improve the overall appearance of her face literally lift it up without requiring a knife. The first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to lift Tatiana's cheeks and replace the volume that she has lost over the years. By doing that it really helps quite a bit to also decrease the depth of the nasolabial folds as well as the marionette lines. I prefer to use Radius, it seems to be a very nice, thick, viscous filler which lasts for about a year for majority of the patients. Just by putting in a little bit of Radius, you can already see the difference between the two cheeks. Now we're going to do the other side and we'll do the same thing. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to address uh, Tanya's uh, nasolabial folds or smile lines. While it is quite subtle, you can clearly see the difference between the right side and the left side since the left side has not yet been treated. So the last thing we're going to do with the filler is um, reduce the appearance of puffy uh, lower lids by injecting Restylane right along the tear trough area and by bringing up that skin it will camouflage the appearance of uh, puffy lower lids. Now we're going to finish the procedure with uh, some botulinum toxin, in this case we're using Dysport, which will really help soften the lines on Tanya's forehead, her 11 lines, and her crow's feet. It doesn't have an immediate effect just like the filler, but when it does take effect it will create quite a dramatic difference by really almost completely eliminating the visible uh, wrinkles in her face. As you can see, we're actually finished. Other than a little bit of bruising and swelling, there's really no significant discomfort, and you can already appreciate a dramatic difference uh, before the procedure and after. After a couple of days, the bruising will go away, the swelling will settle out, and um, she will get results that are quite similar to a full surgical facelift. I'm Dr. Victoria Karlinski. Thank you very much for watching.